But what I'm always struck by is the surprise that people show, Igbo people in particular, sometimes shock when they realize that my child speaks Igbo. Why? I grew up speaking both languages quite easily. There are Igbo parents who, when asked why they don't speak Igbo to their children, they say, oh, it will confuse them. And then they go on promptly to sign up their children for French lessons. <laughs> so, so, so it is not a question of, of, of a second language confusing a child. It is not a question of whether a child can learn to speak Igbo. It is a question of how much value we give our language, and by extension, our history, our culture, our identity. When did our language become something to be ashamed of? <laughs> Some people... <laughs> Some people have said that Igbo has no global power, or as one parent put it to me, this is not true. Igbo speaking opens you up to a new way of seeing the world because language and worldview are so closely intertwined. Igbo also happens to be a particularly beautiful and wise language. But even if it wasn't, even if it wasn't, the simple fact of being bilingual benefits a child's intellectual development. I think it is a gift that a parent can give a child and it cannot do any harm to that child. But here, I do not mean Igbo speaking as performance. I don't mean where a child says one word in Igbo and we applaud. Yeah. Or, or when Igbo parents, both of them Igbo speaking, talk about wanting to find Igbo classes for their children. Why don't you just speak Igbo to them in everyday conversation? Why don't we normalize it? Why don't we make it ordinary? Language matters because language is the conduit to culture. All over Igbo land, the practice of speaking Igbo is in decline. Even in the villages, 